Okay, it's time to start, uh, well, continue with the detailing and uh, move on to, you know, the start of making clothes. It may go faster, it may go slower than we think. Right, so what I'm going to do is start with uh, the goggle strap, which isn't just a strap actually, it's basically supposed to represent kind of twin elastic over a nylon core. So, if I go over here, what I'm going to do is what fun this actually. I'm going to uh, stick on a turbo smooth. Okay, and this will actually get me the strap that I need more or less here, you see. And then I'm going to stick an edit poly on top of this, and I can delete this modifier later on, which makes things tremendously helpful. Stretch my legs. Okay, now what I'm going to do is let's grab here and here and then do a ring control select by polygon and it's selected the part I need detach it come back here you're just going to detach it as a clone okay that way you know our model still exists now we can go back to our main model here and kill the edit poly and kill the turbo smooth and I've still got this part here buried away inside it. See? Now then, if I just apply a push to this, which I should be able to as soon as I've found it, there we go. And push does exactly what it says on the tin, basically. It brings it out like that. So now it's no longer lying flush inside the head because of course when the polygons go down it's inside we can always reduce its scale a tiny bit later on if we need to okay now apply an edit poly to the top of this again hope you notice what a completely different way of modeling this is compared to pure mechanical modeling There we go. Delete those. Now let's lift it up and have a look at it. Okay, that's cool. And this is our band. I'm just going to bring it up here so I can work on it some more. And what I want to do is take this edge here and I'm going to just loop it and then do a small chamfer it's there and there ok now I'm going to select this and this do a loop, no I mean a ring control select by polygon I'm going to extrude this and I'm going to extrude it by local normal and just bring it out like this just click OK Now, what I can do is use Swift Loop just to apply some reinforcement where I'm going to need it because I want to put a bit of a smooth on this. There we go. And now I can get quite cold. It's chilly in here. Turbo Smooth. And as you see, that creates that quite nice smooth look there for the fabric. Now over here, you see the precision that you tend to do in, you know, good old hard surface modeling isn't actually something that you bother with so much in um, soft, model, soft body modeling. I would never dream in hard surface modeling of doing the modeling this way simply because I'd want precise edges to meet and things like this, but in soft body modelling, you don't. Funny old business. Okay, control slip by that. Want to push applied just to those. Just to bring these parts out of it. There we go. Then I can convert the entire lot to an edible poly, which just collapses that stack.
No. I'm just going to effect pivot only, send it to object, effect pivot only off, bring this down until it's nearly in the right place. I can just use, you know, FFDs or whatever to move it around, so that's not going to be a problem. Now over here I'm just going to stick a turbo smooth on, just so that I can try and make all these parts fit where they need to. You see it's fitting there, and over here it isn't. And that's because I accidentally ended this one too soon. Silly old me. Okay, let's go over here. It's okay, we can fix what I've broken in my haste. Just deselect these parts. So I've just got these ones, then holding down shift. Move to about there. I can bring it in a bit. Why can I bring that in a bit? Because there's still room for flexibility on this piece. If I can ever select it... Oh, I'm going to start getting cross. I'm going to hold shift so it's locked. There. Turn shift off. Okay, so now that and that are in the right place. Okay, next. This polygon at the top is... Uh, yep, this one's flat, so I'm going to steal it for a minute. Just to make a extended primitive, and I'm going to make a... Let me see, what should I make? Chamfered cylinder? No, a capsule. That's ideal. There we go. Auto grid it. I'm going to build it off this. Like that. Yeah, that's right. And that'll go there. Like that. And then back. Right, let's increase the polygons on this a bit. And by a bit I mean quite a lot. Also increase the height segments by one. Okay, now I'm going to take this inside polygon here and do a loop. Press Z just so I can zoom in on it. And I'm going to extrude it, I think, rather than anything else. So let's just bring this in. Bring the height down. That should probably do it. Now I'm going to select these three and do a loop and then a chamfer. Bring my chamfer down. Though not that far down, preferably. I should do it. Add a curve in by adding two segments. Okay, and we don't want this pressing into his head, because if it presses into his head, then we have to create an indentation. So it needs to go between the goggles, which are there, and the strap. Now we copy it. And do it again just here. Like that. Okay. Next. Looking at these goggles, what I'm going to do is just isolate them. Makes it a little bit easier for us to work on. And I'm going to apply a uh, grey material to this selection, just to show that these are goggles. 
it's always a good idea if you're working on something like this to do this sort of thing it makes it a little bit easier for you okay now here uh, I'm gonna use actually I'm gonna use a quick slice for this a swift loop sorry now I need one here and then I'm gonna have one all the way up here okay and one here and one here I know that seems kind of redundant but no it isn't turn off swift loop while I'm doing this press loop so I've got both these loops selected no there bring those forward like that if I'm doing that I'm gonna have to select these middle ones as well otherwise it looks silly Okay, so that adds that rim there, which we need. Now then, rather than extruding out, what we're actually going to do is extrude in. And also, I'm going to select this edge, do a loop, and I'm going to flatten it by using a scale like that. Okay, top viewport and zoom. Perspective zoom. And as you see, we've selected these inside ones. Not really so much of an issue selecting the inside ones, to be honest, so I wouldn't worry too much. I'll probably end up deleting all of them anyway. Okay, and I'm going to extrude this in. So change this to local normal. And then make our amount negative not a great deal negative just a slight negative about that much okay now I'm gonna select here and here and I want to come around and select here and here and I'm gonna loop then I'm gonna chamfer I'm gonna change this to like two edges I think should be enough and then I'm gonna cancel and I'm gonna do it by eye to get in nice and close. Now the thing is it's quite difficult to get it to work exactly so actually I think I'll reduce the segments down to just one. That way we can let Turbo Smooth deal with the rest. Okay, we've got this edge here going around. Should be nice and s smooth, actually. Let's put a turbo smooth on this now and see how it's coming along. It's not bad. Go back to Edit Poly. Mustn't collapse it whilst ISO line display is on. Okay, that's not bad. This crease here needs to be a little bit more pronounced. There. Same again on the bottom. There you go. Apart from that, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Actually... Okay, so what I'm going to do is turn that off, go up to Turbo Smooth, and just collapse it. I'm not really being fussed about how many polygons we've got at the minute. This is non-flexible, so I've got to make sure that this doesn't flex. Plus, I want this bending. Okay, now I need to create box so there we go let's bring it over to here it just so that I can get the size of these parts I'm about to create well this part 
I'm about to create, correct. And this is going to be a sphere. Pull that a bit like that. It's got a hemisphere of 0 0.5. Delete that. That should be enough polygons, I think. I mean, mm, I could make it a nerve, I suppose, and then it'd be continually curved forever. But I don't really want to. I'll make it 22. That should do it for the minute. Okay, now what I'm going to do is got my object paint and I'm going to adjust my object list which means picking this got to be careful how I do this remember and I'm going to paint it directly onto the model okay like that now the good thing is I can use these as guides if I want to so I'm going to draw them on this edge here. Just try and get the spacing about right. If it's getting too close because it is moving in a bit, just adjust it. You can go for perfectly symmetrical if you want. In fact, going for symmetrical won't be that difficult if we just copy it. So I think I'll just follow my own advice for a change. There we go. Take that away. Now, close this. And I'm going to convert table poly on these. I'll just attach these together. Like so. Now I can't just swing them 180 degrees, they're gonna to have to be mirrored. So sure it's a copy. Good thing is that we can tell exactly when they're in the right position because parts of them will start to disappear. Like that. Okay, so they're all correct. Now all I need to do is reset X form on them because they're all inside out. See what I mean? Inside out, man. We can also add more details and layers and things if you really want to. You can do as much as you want, but uh, I'll be here forever if I do, seriously. So, if you don't mind, I'll not. And then attach these on. Okay, and there's our strap, which is black, so I'll just use the eye black for it. So it stands out. Well, I can make it brown, I suppose. Actually, I like black. There we go. Now, there appears to be some sort of a defective... Ooh, look at that. Deary, deary, dear. Let's uh, remove that. There it is, backspace. Now we can stick Turbo Smooth back on. Okay, and we've got more or less enough now to be starting on looking at building our dungarees for this little fellow. So I think I'll do that in the next section because I'm going to have to look at these trouser legs carefully. Yeah, yeah I am. Okay, so hopefully you're enjoying this. Um, I wish I knew what colour these guys were. I need to work it out. Uh, I think for the moment I'm going to just assume they're kind of a yellowy colour. Hmm. 
There we go. Oh, got it wrong. It went away again. There we go. Okay. So, I'm going to assume they're that kind of colour for the moment. <laughs> Madness. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll see you in the next bit.